Barracks Trail runs 23 miles on BLM land in Kane County, Utah. Early on, the trail is an easy dirt road. Don't be detoured by the private land sign at mile two. Just be courteous and stay on the road. At mile 2.7, a fence blocks the road. A quick left into the wash and it's on to the good stuff. For the next few miles, the trail zigzags along the east fork of the Virgin River, crossing it many times. As we were running the trail in July, the water was barely there or completely absent in places. In winter and spring, the water crossings can be very significant. At mile 5.8, there is a massive sandy climb. The steep climb coupled with the dry hot sand provided to be impassable for all but one of our rigs. We suggest running this trail south to north as to drive down this hill, unless traveling the trail in winter or spring when the sand will be more dense. And then I had to basically come back in my tracks a little bit and then ride that hump and come back in my tracks and ride that hump to okay. finally get the front onto hard ground. Okay. So what I'm wondering is, do we want to get like, to, like if we know Scott can make it, do we want to get a couple trucks up so that we can... With winches? Yeah. More and, options? You know, so And have an anchor, you're saying? Exactly, yeah. so there's an anchor back here, yeah. and then there's a truck right close to where we need the winching done. But so, how are you going to turn the truck around there? You can keep going up. Where I'm at, uh -huh. it's good. Okay. You can drive that in four low with minimal tire spin. I had a couple max tracks under my front tires, but that probably would have done it too. I think we can get everybody up. I think it's just going to be a matter of we need some trucks up there that have winches, <coughs> or at least one more truck we know is going to make it so that. All right. Well, well, why not just throw the tracks down and, and not even deal with questioning it? What's because you don't know where you're going to get stuck when you get up there. You it's. Like I gotcha. started turning too late, gotcha. so I was pulling up. Although we had to turn around, if continued on past the sandy climb, the trail continues on having a sandy surface with occasional yep, sandstone patches. Exactly Scott, yeah, just keep pulling pressure on Scott. I would winch him more out. We're about three or four more minutes, we'll be done. Go ahead and pull up just a little bit more to get you out of your rut. Cut your wheels, uh, driver's side. Let the winds pull you up. We give this trail a real world rating of easy to moderate. Depending on time of year run and direction run, this trail can potentially be impassable but damaging your rig is highly unlikely outside of a poorly judged water crossing potentially resulting in engine damage. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out our other adventure series videos and get your Rogue Overland gear at rogueoverland.com.